In this eight minute long video, I'm gonna be explaining how to turn any logo, JPEG, PNG, into a customizable 3D printed keychain. I've been using this with two colors for multiple designs and the results have been very satisfying. Step one, we're gonna open up Thingiverse here. I'm just dropping in a cylinder and I'm gonna change the size to the size we want, which will be 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters, giving us the size of the keyring we want. Now I'm changing the depth to a four millimeters, which will be our overall thickness. Next step is we're gonna jump on. I searched the Coca-Cola logo as I figured it's easy and very recognizable. I'm just gonna download this PNG image and then I'm gonna convert it to an SVG file. So I'm searching for a converter on Google. Just gonna click this top link, choose files, Click my Coca-Cola logo, just having a moment. But basically what this does is it converts it from an image into a 3D file we can then use for our key rings. So as you can see, it's converting. And then you just wanna go ahead and download the logo. Okay, now jumping back over to Thingiverse here. Okay, so you wanna press import and then drag that file we just downloaded, the SVG file, and drop it in. Here you can see it says imported shape is larger, so drop the size down to 40 millimeters, which is the same size as our keyring base. Hit import. Any second now, it should bring in our Coca-Cola text, nice and crisp in an SVG file format. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, great, here we are. So, as you can see, we now have the text. It's gonna rotate this 180 degrees. Perfect, okay. Okay, all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna drag and drop on top of our key ring. And I'm just gonna do some adjustments here just to make sure it really fits. And we don't really want the edges of the text hanging over the key ring. Personally, I like to keep it within the circle so just a couple of adjustments here within the shape, the height, the width. I think that's looking okay. Yeah, awesome. Right, so I'm actually gonna drop this down to two millimeters, which is our, our base height, shall we say. Perfect, and then the text to four millimeters. Lovely, and this will make the entire key ring a total height of four millimeters. Um, it's up to you and your preferences. You can do eight, 10, 20. I just found this is a really nice uh, height and thickness and durability for key rings. So now I'm just dragging in a whole cylinder. And basically what this will do is it will just create a hole within that key ring, um, which will wrap around the key ring. So I'm doing five millimeter hole, as I figured that's perfect for the key rings. Just gotta drop it on the center here. Awesome. And one thing you wanna make sure of here is to make sure you extrude it down so it goes all the way through that mesh. So when we take it into Cura, it will notice that there's a hole there. Just making a couple more final adjustments before we go into the 3D printer. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, awesome. So now once you've completed your keyring, all you wanna do is you wanna head up to the top here and press export. Make sure you press .stl. Once you hit that, it should download your file and then you want to just drag that file into Cura. And I'm just going to give it a really quick slice here so we can see what we're working with. Oh, there we are. Perfect. Okay, so that is our final keyring. Now, what we want to do is we want to modify the G code because we want two colors in this keyring. Basically, we want it to print the first two millimeters in white or red and then the second two millimeters in a different color to make that text really stand out. So at the top here, we're going on to extensions, post-processing, modify G-code. On this screen, it will say, it should have an option for change filament. You wanna select that, as I've just done. And we will re-slice here, just to see what we're working with again. Okay, and you wanna work out the layer you want this filament to change. For me, it's 10. It's at the start of the layer you set it at. So mine is 10, just gonna chuck it in, pause at layer 10, essentially, and we're gonna swap the filament out and then continue to print. So I'm just duplicating this because I want mine to be double-sided. Put it somewhere in the center of the bed. 
There we are, and we're just gonna slice. Awesome. There we are. So that's the final key ring with the modified G code telling it to stop at two millimeters high. We'll change the color and it'll continue to print the other two millimeters. So you wanna go and save this to your micro SD. And in my case, I'm gonna pop it in the printer. You're right about there. It's so tiny, these SD cards. Perfect. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna go down to print from TF card. Select the file we just created on Cura hit print and as you can see i'm starting my first two millimeters in red and then going to swap over to two uh the white sorry when i'm printing the text here's just a short time lapse of the red printing which is the base of our key rings okay now this one's wrapping up it's just about time for our filament change. So as you can see here, I'm taking out the red filament, taking the spool off, and then adding the white filament. So my print is an Ender V2 Neo, and it will hold its temperature for the entire time I'm changing a filament. This is good because when you're printing in bright colors and you change the, i.e. whites like I am in this case, you'll often get pink um, extrusion okay so you want to make sure you purge that um, nozzle head essentially and get all that red out so that you're not printing in pink and give it a nice crisp change in color from the red base to the white text so as you can see it's purging now so it's just pushing out all that red filament um, that has been in that temp Lovely, and now we're just doing a quick time lapse showing you the uh, the white text that's going on top of these key rings. This is the Coca-Cola logo, which I was worried it was gonna to be too small, but surprisingly, it was just thick enough so that my 0 0.4 nozzle could print this. Awesome, and here is the final result on the print bed, looking very nice and crisp and clean. In this stage, I'm just taking some ordinary super glue that I've had to cut the end off. And all we're gonna do here is we're gonna lay these two sides on top of each other, making sure the hole aligns at the top. It can be a little bit fiddly super glue, but in a couple of seconds, it should bond quite nicely, enough so we can move it and pick it up. And I think that's good to go. And there we are. There is our finished Coca-Cola keyring in eight minutes easy here is just a short demo of some other key rings i've done as you notice the one on the right is inverted so instead of having the text coming up i've actually set it two millimeters deep into the um, sto file and there we are thank you for watching